I never would have loved you as I do if you were a yes Ragnar, yes Ragnar, yes Ragnar. <laughs> you wouldn't have been sexy anymore. Elika var analys eller A4. Och hade det inte varit lite gal så hade det inte varit den är. Och samtidigt så har ett papper från min eh, överläge i psyk psykiatri i Norrgumstal att det inte är gal på direkt frågor från mig. Eh, så svarar han att det nog kan bli uppfattat som gal av enkelte i enkelte som som en gång men eh, sett från en medicinsk diagnos så är det inte gal och slutar med fortsätt och vara den du är. Do you agree pen? He's not crazy. Nej. <laughs> Jag har hört det var gal många gånger. Den mest kända personen som sa det offentligt, det var prins Philip. Ett jag hade pratat med dronning Elisabeth och ett roturen till Shetland i 1960. Så hade jag en väldigt hyggelig samtal med dronning Elisabeth. Hon spurte om vad min mor syns om detta här och om jag hade haft problem under väs. Det var ju så det där var. Det kunde inte säga, så jag hade sår back. Och vi stod och pratade länge, så länge att uh, uh, inte chefen henne men uh, programledaren kom och sa till jag att nu kanske du står och snackar med han roan längre, nu måste du fortsätta. Så gick hon och så kom prins Philip och sa You're crazy man! <laughs> och, då hade jag ju lyst till att svara han. Men okej, det gjorde jag inte. Men då journalisterna flockade sig runt med efter att jag hade snackat med dessa två här. Så sa jag vad jag ment, eller vad jag ville ha sagt. Och det var It takes a fool to know a fool. Och då flirte journalisterna och brukte det i toppuppslag av sina. Så prins Philip fick nog den gången svara med per avis och tv. But Pen, why did you think I want to spend my life with this man? What makes you think that? It's a long I like to... Um, why do you like him so much? Yeah. I like to take care of him. Make him uh, feel good and happy life. He saved my life. <laughs> That's true. What, what, what am I? Well, I had planned to end my days by my own hand. And then one night she showed up here and asked if I needed a housekeeper. And I said no, I don't need. Couldn't see why I should have a housekeeper. <laughs> Um, and I asked, what shall you do then? Well, wash your clothes, make food, keep the house clean and keep you company. I have a car we can go around. I said no, but we agreed that she should come back the next day, in the morning. At that time I was pretty far down, drinking too much, eating too much moving absolutely nothing 114 and a half kilo i think more than you weigh today and 
confirm. But she came back in the morning. I drank water. We were sitting the whole day talking. Pen about her life and family. I about my life and family. And uh, during our day together, she realized that I had a birthday the next day, the 17th of February. And this February 17 uh, seven year. will be seven year. Okay. So she asked, uh, are you going to have a party tomorrow? <laughs> yes, I invited some friends. And she asked, what are you going to serve them, give them? Well, I have beer and wine and some other alcohol. And then she asked, yeah, but what about food? <laughs> then I said, food, mat, for helvete. They phone a well mat, heime. They get from their wives. And, and then she said, no, no, Ragnar. You cannot give a party with no food. I'll come and make food for you and your friends. Yeah. So she got a thousand baht when she left that evening. Came back at eight o'clock in the morning with a lots of bags with food and things. And she sent me first in the shower and put on a clean shorts and shirt. And then she sent me to the hair dresser to cut my hair. And herself started to clean the house and prepare the food. And six o'clock, my friends came. And then she had uh, styled herself up a little bit. <laughs> Actually, her name is Pen, and in Norwegian, that's beautiful. And, uh, well, I didn't understand anything, and my friends understood less. But we had a great party with not too much alcohol, but good food and good company. Yeah. And then again, I thanked her and asked her to come back the next day again. Then we talked more and then she got the job as my housekeeper and moved into the guest room. Mm -hmm. So that's how it started. I see. But of course, after some weeks, she had uh, caught my brain and heart and uh, even if I never had plans or started a new life with a new women. I was to end my life. Uh, I, uh, well, long story, but she turned it all upside down. So, uh, now again, after a couple of months, I, uh, I, what you say, Efridda, also to marry me, moved to Norway, and she looked at me, was thinking a little bit, and <laughs> then she made her, set her conditions. Uh -huh. Yeah, one, a little bit economic, if she were to go to Norway, uh, her mother would not be able to run the restaurant <coughs> anymore in the countryside, Prussianbury, uh, and uh, she had children, she wanted to get a good education, so I had to help with that, and I said yes. And then there were two things, important things, and I asked, what is this? Well, she said, first of all, you have to stop smoking, and as, as Sunmöring, we are the, the Jews of Norway, or <laughs> Arabs, or whatever. Yeah. My calculator went very fast, and I <clears throat> found out that by stopping smoking, I would uh, save four times as much as she needed for support to her children. So I said yes, and it would 
improve my health. And then uh, she asked, I asked for the second uh, thing. thing. Mm. And then she said, you have to get rid of your big stomach. <laughs> At that, that time I was 114 kilos. And uh, well, I looked at it and I couldn't see my knees. So uh, I said yes. So I quit smoking and uh, started walking and exercising again and lost 36 kilos. Really? Oh. And, but you it, have a strong mind. <laughs> well, she made me strong. Maybe. I was deeply in love, but not the same way as you are when you are 15, 16. This uh, person yeah. is the, I think, the best person that I ever met. Her heart is good, her brain is brilliant, hardworking. And she is Thai and a Buddhist. All the others are number one, right? Yes. And you wanted to make you up, up, <laughs> up. <laughs> wow. Make me yeah, you. Thank you. <laughs> cup good. Cup. You're welcome. But did you know he was famous, uh, Pan? Uh, yeah. Oh, you know already, you know quickly that yeah. he's a famous man. Mm -hmm. And but? But he too much drink. Too much drink? Yeah, and then oh. I try to stop. But I like him to have good life yeah. and better life. And but one of the first things I told her, and which was true, I had no money. I had given yeah. everything away. Never. So. Uh, Never. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he told yeah. Yes, all the time. So but I, I had a good pension, so I could uh, afford to support her children. And when I stopped smoking, it was a win-win. Yeah. And it has become better and better yes. yeah. every day. <laughs> and sometimes she said that I'm become a better person. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then people from Norway think Ragnar is a very tough man, very talk straight, talk what you think every time, you know, sometimes very hard. Yes, that's yeah. true. How, how, how is he really? Is he really s soft or is he like people think he is? Uh, sometimes, you know, when uh, he not like something, you know, and then he very hard and very oh, temperament, very strong to people. Yeah. And then I try to tell him to be calm down, not nice to do that. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Okay, so, so he is also soft sometimes? Yes, yeah. now he very good, soft. How, how has he changed after you meet him first time and today? How is he different? <laughs> oh, different. So good now, yes. How about what he changed? In her, in his uh, mouth, when he talk, you know, I tell him to think before he talk. Yes, and try to be calm down, not to temperament and not too selfish. That's not nice. I learned him many things about this. That's true. But <laughs> I'm not perfect. And I <laughs> never will be. I will still be a Ragnar. <laughs> Ragnar the Horrible. What did you think when he started to talk about Greenland? Did you think he was crazy again? Yes. I tell him, crazy. Stop to think about planning. Stop. I don't want to hear. I don't want to do anything. Yes. Okay. I never, you know, I'm not interested first start, you know. I not agree what he do. I tell him getting to own, have to be leader. No, I'm not old. Slope up, I tell. But no. he never listen. Too no. hard. I'm good. Because he likes to be 40 years old, but sometimes <laughs> you have to slow him down. Doesn't manage. <laughs> tell me an example when you 
slow him down when he do like he's 40. He's so angry. Well, Pan, I've learned. <laughs> now we can sit in a big room in each other's in uh, different corners. And then if she hear I say something she doesn't like, I can see her because I, I always keep an eye on her because I love her so much and she's so beautiful. <laughs> and then sometimes then I can see her, just her finger. Mm -hmm. She never say anything. No she never bad hit, word. She never, uh, he never said a bad word to me. She never hit me. And I never hit her. But maybe I s sometimes said bad words. Without really wanting. But uh, it doesn't take much to to hurt a Buddhist lady like Pen uh, or a Thai. But he really hurt, you know. <laughs> he, yeah. talk, he talk and hurt you? Yeah. <coughs> okay. Well, when I was angry, I told yeah. him, go home. Get out from my home. <laughs> really? Yes. Go away. Yes, that's when he get angry, you know. Yeah. But after that, 10 minutes, and then he shared, Please forgive me. <laughs> but Pen, how is your life in Norway? I, I know many Thai people in Norway, and they live like they live in Thailand. They mm. eat Thai food, yeah. Thai music, Thai movies, yes. Thai TV, yes. Thai friends, yes. Thai everything. Thai. Are you same or you yeah, change to Norwegian? No, mm, no. Cannot share with me, you know. I eat no. Thai mat. Yeah, yeah Thai every day. food, yes. Mm -hmm. But my friend <laughs> has become her friends. My brother yeah. is her best friend. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Both. Both. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are the Thai people uh, where you live? You have Thai friends? Yes. You have Thai I friends have too. I have a lot of friends. I see. Mm -hmm. So you live almost on Thailand, but it's colder. Yeah, too cold for me. <laughs> yes. yeah. Very cold. Miss Thailand. And Pen, and Pen is working hard in Norway. Yeah. Too hard work. What are but you doing now? You have a restaurant, a sell, a sell food? Yes, still? Thai mat. Please tell me about your Thai food business. Uh, <laughs> a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of work, hard work. And but a lot of things, you know, expensive, everything. And have to pay the burn price, I think, <coughs> 10 times from Thailand. Mm -hmm. Work hard. But late money. Mm -hmm. Not easy to open business. Too many papers and everything. In Thailand you can just open. Yes, yes. Yeah. That's not easy. With the paperwork. But this is uh, being changed now. Now, Pen and I are working together, together. Mm -hmm. as a team. Where I'm boss when we are at sea, and she is the boss when we are on shore. Is that right? I'm not doing so. <laughs> the pen, Irana, say you make bakalao, aroikwa. Yeah. <laughs> how you make how you make bakalao better than Norwegian bakalao? I make a uh, Thai oxo into <laughs> bakalao. What what you put into bakalao? Uh, some sauce, you know, very good. Thai sauce? Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Like the fish sauce or the oyster sauce or? Yeah. Oh, it's a secret. And spices. <laughs> yeah, oxo chili. Chili. Oh. Chili. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Chili in. Oh. We love it. You put chili in everything? Not. Yeah. <laughs> <Not everything? laughs> Some oh. soup don't put chili. Yeah. And I like chili. Yeah. What do you think about the food in Norway? Mm, I like uh, fish. Fish? Yeah, in Norway. Um, and you, I think also you like uh, whale meat? No. No. Yeah, <laughs> you like? Yeah. 
and you like uh, smaller hobo. You tried no, we, uh, she has tried it. We have had smaller hobo. Yes, I love it. Smaller hobo. Louis little fish. Little fish. Oh. Little fish. Oh, yeah. so Lute favorite. Fish. Yes. Okay. Here is a paddle or so both are equipped with two of. Men det är inte det vi ska bruka till framdrift då. Vi ska cykla med dessa geniala sakerna här som är mer än dubbelt så effektiva så att handpaddla. Så vi sitter alltså och cyklar i vår lenestolar och så har vi ett litet segel som kan hjälpa oss når vinden er høvelig og med å sykle så greier Penn og jeg fire knopp i timen med segg så har jeg prestert over ti knopp Den som har en særposisjon det er Penn, det er hoset hovedpersonen, og det er denne storyen at to generasjoner, to kulturer, to kjønn, to religioner, ja, jeg vet ikke mer hva som skiller Penn og meg, men det er mye, går i sammen om å gjøre noe sånt. Og på toppen av det hele, når vi kommer til Grønland, så vil Penn møte sine tremenninger, for eskimoene, inuitterne eller grønlenderne, som de vel kaller seg i dag, de kommer jo egentlig fra Asia. De kom over Beringstredet og spredte seg over hele Nord-Amerika og til Grønland. Men kan det være snakk om den siste ekspedisjonen din, stort sett, av typen vi kjenner deg fra? Det skal jeg love deg at det er det ikke snakk om. Du kommer aldri til å høre at jeg skal eller har vært på min siste ekspedisjon. Jeg er fortsatt, ja, jeg er meirårig, men jeg er en ung mann her, her og her. Og jeg har det vi på godt sunnmørsk kaller røynsle. Jeg har laget et lite stev, meirårig. Grånande, kromnacka, röjnd man kan sprek i sin, ung och litt galen i sin, han vinn och ett PS, men aldrig och lejne och inte alltid lätt att styra.